Uh, right, here we go. Now, shall we head stateside now? Let's have a bit of a dream. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Oh, I love it. Yes, the Big Apple, the city that's so, so good they named it twice. Uh, the destination for a choir in Hampshire as they head off to perform at the world-famous Carnegie Hall. I'd love to do that. Uh, the Candover Valley Choir was chosen from dozens of entries to sing at a concert to commemorate the end of World War I. Jane Bryant is the group's director and she joins us now with Chris Dine. Hello to you ladies. Good morning. Hello. What a treat for you guys. Carnegie Hall. I mean, have you been there before? Never. No, no. Never been there before. <clears throat> Never I've, been I've there seen before. it in Hollywood movies. Uh, and to have it on your CV is going to be remarkable. Well, it's a, it's a lifetime opportunity. How did it come about? Well, uh, the choir took part. The choir took part in um, uh, a national, a UK-wide commission in 2016, commemorating the Battle of the Somme, by a composer called David Lang. And as a result of that, we got on a map of choirs across the world that was really interested in working in new ways and doing new work. And we were contacted by concert promoter DCINY, Distinguished Concerts International New York, to see if we'd like to, to participate in a new commission on Armistice Day by a composer called Patrick Hawes, British composer. And I discussed it with Chris, our choir chairman. And, um, and Chris said... How much will it cost? <laughs> uh, we did discuss cost, yes. We did indeed. Um, and so there are six members of the choir that are heading off to New York and uh, we're all extremely thrilled to have that opportunity to, to go there. Has it changed the way you all practice? Now you've got this focus, is suddenly everyone turning up on time and they're practising at home and you've thought, actually, do you know, as a choir, this is having a real good psychological benefit for us. I think it is having a psychological effect on the choir, even though there's only six of us going, because actually we had to audition um, to be invited to participate, and we all took part in that, and I think there's a new kind of sense of, uh, we can do this. We are taking part with other choirs in something quite extraordinary, and I think even though it's just six of us, I think we're yes. all... We're all benefiting from that. We're just representatives of the whole choir. It's a real legacy piece, isn't it? Have you done anything like this before? No, no, we haven't at all, have we? No. And how do you how do you feel about it? What's what's your your sense about it? Is it just excitement or nerves or where are you sitting with it? Um, I think it's just um, you know it's a lifetime opportunity um, to go and sing in such a grand building. So we're extremely thrilled to have that opportunity and to have met the requirements to do it. I mean, I I, I think it's such a, a thing on the CV, isn't it? To mm. say I sung at Carnegie Hall, I, and I've seen it. And actually, it's one of those places that when you look at it, you think, oh, this is Carnegie Hall. But just to know you've walked on the stage there and done it, will you be nervous? How will you manage the nerves? How will you ground yourselves? Well, when we go over there, we're going to have uh, about 12 hours of rehearsals with, with the other choirs that have been gathered from around the world. Um, so we hope we'll know the, the music. But actually, being a bit nervous helps because you then rise to meet those nerves and you get that sense of performing. And yeah. uh, I quite like being a bit nervous as well. Mm. I think it really helps the performance. Really? I, I hate it, but I think when, when I watch singers and, and they're doing something, I, I think to myself, what makes them remarkable is that they can steady their voice. You know, when we all watch The X Factor, and my wife sings and she goes, oh, they're nervous. And you can hear that sort of warble in the throat. Mm. And I think it's a very hard thing to calm down. But I guess you guys are all used to it. We are, but then I think you do get nervous before a concert. We're all used to those feelings, which are good. And um, combined together, you lose that because you're singing with each other. So it's a, a good a good thing to Yes, true. Feel. You are part of a team. It's we not are. On your own, that would really yeah. be pushing the um, the anxiety boundary. Not impossible, of course, but that's and that, you've got your team there, you're all yes. supporting each other. So for people listening to this who think, that's amazing, that choir's going there, are you doing a special tweeting, Facebooking, follow us, you know, see our story, Facebook Live? Are we coming with you <laughs> like a Hollywood movie? Well, I, I will be tweeting because I do. Um, and uh, it'll be lovely if people wanted to follow. I'll be sending photos. We hope to see a bit of New York as well. Of course while you we're do. There. Yeah. Um, but it, it's an amazing choral opportunity. And uh, 
we've all been singing for a long time and the sense of team for the, the choir is tremendous. But uh, yes, I will be tweeting. <laughs> I think it's going to be great. <gasps> Absolutely amazing. Canada Valley Choir are making their way to New York for a commemorative end, a commemorative uh, World War One concert. Uh, I think it's amazing. You're going to be sat on a plane going to New York <laughs> just to sing and to look at the shops. It's a gift. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? You, can I join the choir? Well, we're always looking. Are you? Uh, yes, we're always interested in hearing from new members. And at the moment, we, we have uh, vacancies for bases. So if mm. there's any men out there who would like to talk about joining the choir, they should get in touch with Chris. OK, easy to do. Chris, just finish this interview with how you would do that. What's the easiest way to do that? The Only the easiest way, because if you're after men, very short attention span, my people. I think the easiest way is to look at our website, um, which is www.candovervalleychoir.co.uk. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent. Ladies, have a wonderful time. I'm very, very jealous, but you deserve it for all your hard work. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you.